Stacy's new and she doesn't have any friends. She's scared that she won't be able to make friends since she's deaf. How will the kids treat me? Will they be nice? How will I fit in if I can't speak? Are there any of the deaf people here? I really don't want to do this, but I need the extra credit. Since I'm the only person who can speak sign language in the school, I'm being forced to help the new girl. They got to know each other. Stacy and Kiana became friends. This is our new student, Stacy. She's partially deaf and she can't read lips. Hi, Stacy. Welcome to our class. At what rate do all objects fall? Yes. That's correct. All right, see you all tomorrow. Don't forget to do your homework. Have a good evening. Bye. I know some of the kids weren't treating Stacy nice. So is there anything we can do to inspire them to be nicer to her? Um, let me think about it. We'll have a plan for tomorrow. Okay? Thank you. Okay, today we're going to be talking about weight equals mass times gravity. And we're going to have a test on this tomorrow. So I gave you some guided notes. Um, and everybody is going to study this tonight, correct? Yes. All right, before we do that, we're going to run a little experiment. So I need the headphones passed out to everyone, please. Our definition is the force of attraction between all objects of mass. All objects fall at approximately 10 meters per second squared. Gravitational force holds us down. Gravity causes objects to fall towards the Earth. The force of gravity acts on an object. Weight equals mass times acceleration due to gravity. What does W equal? Yes. That's right. That's right. Very, very good. Yes, ma'am. What? What? You can hear? You can understand? Okay, take your earphones off, everybody. How does it feel not to be able to hear? Yes. I feel stressed because I couldn't understand. You can understand? All right. Yes. I felt left out and annoyed because I didn't know what was going on. All right. Okay, so I wanted you to have a different perspective. Some people have trouble with the challenges or obstacles that they face every day. I hope this experiment will inspire you to see the world from another person's point of view. The class learned of the struggles of having a disability, but many others don't. People need to learn not to judge others and embrace them.